Oh, that was just the prologue. <laughs> New girl. Hmm. Oh, we're going backwards. She was talking. She was talking about uh, how she got kissed by a ghost and was gonna die today, so we're going backwards. Oh, cool. That's very cool. My first job. I can do this. You sure? But I better hurry if I want to catch the bus and get there on time. Yeah, I don't want to be late on your first day. That's not a good look. Just wanted to check if I actually had an umbrella in my inventory, but apparently not. Ah! No! Don't do this! Stay, 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 stay! Wait. No! You fucking dick! Dude, I was right there! You didn't even open your door! You fucking cock! Well, that sucks. Alright, guess I better run for it. Dude, I've had that happen to me on like a tiny buttfuck road in a tiny buttfuck town when I was like five hours away from home with a uh, with commute and and it would take another two hours for a bus to show up. Like I was so mad. He straight up deliberately ignored me. There is no excuse. Oh crap. Well, guess I'm not going that way. Oh, are you kidding? Hey! Ah! Move your car, mate! Please! Well, this sucks. Twat. Alright, well. I guess I'm going dumpster diving. There's gotta be something this fucking dog will eat. Oh, or a cat. Hey there, kitty cat. Do you happen to know a woman named Susan? I know this cat is my ticket out of this bloody alley. They don't say. Oh. Alright, I got some kind of thing. And a plastic bag. Let's get that. What do I have? A cucumber and a plastic bag. Wow. Why would someone throw away a perfectly good cucumber? You'd be surprised. People throw away the weirdest shit. It's a cheap plastic shopping bag. Alright, alright. Can I combine them? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Can I give the cat the cucumber? I should probably put it somewhere the cat won't see straight away. Ah. Good call, good call. Dumb dumpster, maybe? That's not gonna work. Nope. <laughs> Fucking dog. Uh. What's this? Fish. Ooh. Oh. I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. Good thing I have a plastic bag, then. Okay, then. There's nothing in them. It's just a pile of... Can we put the fish there? Not it. Nope. It's common knowledge that cats are scared of cucumbers. Really? I'll just put We're using an internet video as, as a solution to... Are you serious? Oh, what's this behind you, mate? <laughs> Are you serious? Wow, okay. Fucking for real? That's hilarious. Also, now I'm just kind of running around with a fish in my pockets. Nope. Okay, we're just gonna carry a, a rotten fish around for some reason. Um... What? <laughs> oh dear. I appear to be in the afterlife. Oh, can I peek through that?
What 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 about the fish? What was the fish about? Okay, what's yeah I knew it. I'm also hearing pig noises. Am I going way out of my way if I assume that's John? Represented as some kind of pig? Because he fucking is one? I could plug something in here. My hair doesn't need drying. Well, okay then. Pull out the bath plug. Well, yeah. Do that. I don't know if that'll do anything. I used to love jumping in the puddles when I was little. Someone could slip on this wet floor. They sure could. So maybe if I had a towel? But I do not. Wait, are you what? You're kidding. Something in here. Not until I really have to. Okay. Well, guess we're moving on then. I love the weird flaily arms in their walk cycles. That's really funny. But I guess that's all there is there, right? Like, I don't see any other items or any other things I can do. Nope. Chains. But why? Because you can never go back. You are lidded. Of course, in this universe, there may be an old lady who can help you with that whole death situation. But <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful. Am I gonna run into he who walks behind the rose now? Outlander! We have your woman! Oh, what the f- Yep, 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 yep. I see a pig head up there. Wonderful. It's bloody locked. Of course it is. What did you expect? Oh. It almost- I can't explain why. But I feel like whoever's behind this gate is calling me. I'm just gonna take this. Somewhat gross, but okay. It's just a creepy mask. That I probably need to wear. To then get out of that bathroom. Oh, I can run. Wonderful. Whoa! <laughs> Outrunning the freaking ca- Oh dear. What's the- Huh? Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell is going on? Right then. Uh, okay. Someone could slip on the sweat floor. Hey, buddy. Yep, there is definitely a pig dude out there. Think he'll let me out if he sees a pig head? Sure enough, stuff is happening. Oh, dear. This place seemed bloodied. Oh! Hello! What? I think I'll leave it where it is. Oh! It looks like gives you that idea. But I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? Yeah, that's how it usually works. Do we like put the pig mask on it? Nope. Twenty thirteen. But uh God twenty thirteen, that was a long time ago. Oh, I'll be Maybe taking this. He would open the gate in the field. Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. Oh, I can't just take it. Maybe this key would open hmm. in the gate in the field. Alright. Family. Headless family from the looks of it. Not super happy about that. What the hell? God, I'm really getting turned around here. 
Okay. Well, not a lot of use in there. I really don't want to go in there, but here we go. Why is the room almost nicer like this, except for the giant blood puddle? But Bump in the bed. Oh, dear. My own head. Sure, well, mom's head. <laughs> I'll just be taking that. <laughs> All super casual, like. I promised I'd keep you safe. It's up to me. Well, I guess I know where that goes. At least I have a, a pretty good idea. Boop. It looks like me. But I know it's not real. It's all just oh. another dream, right? I guess not. Let's actually put it there for a bit while I look around. Maybe I can find my own head some somewhere. Oh, there's mom's body. Cool. And my head is in the fridge, because why wouldn't it be? Okay. Hold on, let me just go get your head. I guess the appropriate question would be, Where's your head at? The, video, the music video for that song scared the crap out of me back when it came out. Man, it's so fucked. Oh, it actually just kind of sticks to her. Huh? Okay. Did I just get something? Nope. Alright, on the heads go. So did that accomplish anything, or...? Now, now, folks. Enough with the head puns. I feel like you're really coming to a head with that. We have to face it. Can't keep sticking our necks out for each other like this. Okay, well, none of that fucking helped. So, now what do I do? I'm just kind of sitting there with my head on it. Ah, I need to find his head too, I guess. Hmm. Maybe this key would open the pig mask field. Ah! Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. Well, there we go. Is it just going to keep zooming in or I guess this is just to tell me I did it right. Can I please take that fucking key? Family. Now I can't interact with this body at all. Oh, okay! There we go! That's that's all I needed to do. Oh, no. Oh. Oh? Oh, dear. Can we not- Ah, oh, Jesus! Ah! Oh, 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 um... This. Wow, really? Is that gonna work? Sure it is! God damn, dude! Oh, cool. There goes the key. Watch it fall down a drain or something. Or not. I can just grab it. Yoink! We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> just before you draw your terminal breath. There we go. Wow, that was... The easiest enemy I've ever encountered in any of these games. <laughs> ah, this looks eerily familiar. Not sure I'm super happy about that. Excuse me. Oh. 
What's this? Uh, sadly, I couldn't be here tonight. Oh, okay, thank you. Sadly, I couldn't be here tonight to welcome you. But please, make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Wow, that's not threatening at all. Ugh. I don't think I like this place any better when it's with better graphics. That's odd. It feels wet. What a lonely seashore. Oh, there are candles here. Hmm. These flames seem so fragile. Three skulls? One of them is already out. That's interesting. Are they like her family members? And the one that's already out is mom? Or dad? Hmm. Her real dad, I mean. Interesting. It's burning nicely. It almost makes this place look like home. Really now? This place? Have you fucking looked around? Well, that depends. Like, if I'm between life and death the same way Susan was when she visited the Queen of Maggots, because let's face it, that's who we're gonna meet. Then it's only re well, if we assume that each flame represents her, Bethany, and mom, then it makes sense. Within this, you know, game's logic. Oh, what's this painting? Upstairs. What the hell are these paintings? Also, who made them? They're awesome. This one is creepy as fuck. Look at that. The hell is this symbol? There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. Hmm. Worth remember remembering later, I guess. Oh, sure. You want me to go to bed in here? No, I love it. This place rules. Nothing creepy about this at all. I see you moving. Can you not? Looks comfy enough. But it's gonna be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. Imagine Airbnb being this. <laughs> oh god. It's over. My whole life. All my hopes and dreams. Mm hmm Dead. Like me. I still remember how alive I felt this morning. And I stood in front of that house, so out of breath from trying to get there on time. With a rotting fish in my pockets, was that new for day. some reason. Starting a new life. Pinecroft, residential and nursing care for the elderly. Hmm. You must be the new girl. That will be me. You're Don't mind the smell of rotten fish. I just picked one out of the trash on the way here. That's hygienic, I'm right? Sorry. The bus didn't stop. And then there was this horrible dog and excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. Wow, I hate you immediately. It's bad enough that we're short of staff. And you haven't had your training yet. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I don't need your apologies. Go fuck yourself! What I need is trained staff, not some. Oh, whatever. Hmm. Of course. But she's just being a bitch for literally basically no reason. Like go upstairs. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. Absolutely take the job seriously. Absolutely, you know, call someone out for not being on time. But none of that was necessary. I don't need anything from there. It's for staff and visitors, I think. Nobody's told me to Hoover. And I really hope they don't. Where's I the can wheelchair? walk just fine. It looks shabby. It's not for you, goddammit. Probably been used a lot. Okay, fairly big house. Hallway. Whoop, not where I want to go. 
Lovely picture. Now's not a good time. Yeah, probably not. Oh, huh? Didn't I tell you to get your uniform? You did, but I... Upstairs, oh, thank you. In the laundry? You probably oh, did, but I was sorry. too busy being angry at what a bitch you are. A lost. On my way now. Upstairs I go. That one was on me. I will say that, but... That doesn't make her not a bitch. Where's the laundry room? Oh, down there! I didn't see an interaction before. Alright, whatever. Hello. Excuse me. <gasps> oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I'm sorry. You nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, silly me. So I'm that scary, am I? So I'm Let's try to be funny about it. Oh, not at all. I scare way too easily. Oh, you're I'm in for a treat then. Like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. That's me. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura. But everyone calls me Lorelei. Oh, okay. That's a little unusual, That's but cool sure. Name. It is. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. I'm supposed to get my uniform. I've been working here long. Uh, let's try talking to her a bit. working here long, Maria? Well, it will be three years soon. So a while. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. Oh, okay. It's that bad. I didn't need your life story, but fair. Nah, it's alright. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? Oh, you mean like... The fucking horrible bitch downstairs. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before, but I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You're getting very Fine. personal very fast. I'll look after you. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there on the shelf waiting for you. Wonderful. The blue one. Yep, same as mine. You'll get a couple more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. That's how it goes. Right. Let's get changed then. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Okay then. Off you go. Oh, one more thing, Lorelai. Oh, it is? Yes. Cool. You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and like <laughs> really bad manners. I well, I wasn't think thinking so. of the first part. Yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So, just keep smiling and she'll be alright eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks That's the, the spirit. Up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelai. Well, she seems cheerful, or at least is trying very hard to be. Uniform time! Yeah, probably a good idea to wash your hands. Can I, like, put this on? And there we go! Ooh, like the tattoos. <laughs> the socks and sneakers don't quite complete the look, but uh, fair enough. Alright, nurse's station. Where is it hiding? Nurse's station, nurse's station. Where are you hiding? Spirit of 43. Huh. Interesting. Come on. Oh, here we go. You took your time, didn't you? Are you always late for everything? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. 
I should really hope so. God, will this you fucking come off it? There's no room here for slackers. And that's fine, but Jesus, it's not slacking. I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. Hello, Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. Hmm. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Will yes, he be important I'm later? <laughs> we must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us, and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because you were late. Will you fucking relax? There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. I imagine. Some can be aggressive. Comes with the territory. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you, and... Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. Well, you're full of shit. You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha, then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours, too. Really? Okay, then? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. That sounds horrible. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? All right, then. So I guess you're stuck with me now. Why do you choose to work with me? Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? Yeah, I think she's full of shit. Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? No. <laughs> Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. That's between me and you, yeah? Why did you choose to work with me? Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, you know, I like to punish myself. Very funny. No, really. That was nice what you did. No offense to Nisha. But I think I'll enjoy shadowing you more. Of course you will, because I'm the best. <laughs> you might well be, but your days are numbered. Just wait and see. The new girl will climb right to the top. Not a race, girls, but... <laughs> Please do. Cool. Then you'll have to work with Zoe every day. Huh? Why? She likes to work with the best one, so they do everything for her. Oh... Oh, well, indeed. I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully. I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. Look, can you talk you while you work? Right thing playing it low earlier. Just smile, say sorry, and go on about your business like nothing happened. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. Yeah. I was thinking so, the same thing. What do we do now? What you were told. We start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. Probably a good idea, actually. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. Uh-huh. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Very Don't fascinating. Talking to Al. He's a good chef, Al? but oh. he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. Is it Mia? Is her mouth way too wide whenever she smiles? Like, <laughs> it's almost a little scary. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. Mm-hmm. You probably went past it earlier. Probably. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> I know. Boring. Very but you'll be essential to know. Every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh. It's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. 
The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Mm. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh, that's mm. so sad. Yeah. I think we'll start with Marjorie. Okay, She's then. Nice lady. Follow me. Okay, then. Let's check on Marjorie, I guess. There she is. Oh, okay. More paintings. Hello, my darling. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelei with us today. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> Good morning. She is not particularly responsive, is she? Let's just keep trying to be nice. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. Mm, don't go there. Whoa! Oh, the family photo. As a matter of fact, it was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Wow, congrats. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. Okay, what now? Now, we get Marjorie... Yeah, I didn't want to ask about the stain because I have a pretty good feeling I know why Please, it was stained. Uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The okay, then. is for the face. The brown one... Oh. <laughs> Alright, then. So do I have both in my inventory? Now or? fill up the sink with hot water. Okay, then. Fill her up. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. She doesn't need one. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelai. Oh. Done. You know, I have mad respect for people that can work with Marjorie, this stuff. I definitely couldn't. It's time for your wash. It would just break me hand, down. Would you? She can't walk on her own. And I'm not talking like because the job is hard, just This would this would get me so depressed. What did she just say? I forgot to pay attention. What did she want me to do? Shall we get some clothes for Marjorie? Oh, we can do that in a minute. Okay then. Let's fix her up. And yeah, that's the thing. Get that nighty off. It felt wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. They should have known better. Anyway, shall we? All right, Marjorie. Marjorie could you lift up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelai. Thank you. Uh, now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. It's up to you. You know, I still haven't read or watched Dr. Sleep. I'll need to get on that. I'll do it. Okay. Brilliant. Hmm. That was an achievement. I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. And pretend it doesn't smell of wee. Am I doing it right, Maria? Yeah. You're not even looking. <laughs> you know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty, full of life. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> At 17, she fell in love with George. Oh. And they were married for 
50 years. Why do you know her life story? Can you imagine? 50. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George, bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. Why do you know this? He never hit his wife. Broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Mm. Bombs falling on London. The city on fire. You know, aside from that whole bathroom thing and pig mask, this has been surprisingly subdued for one of these games so far like we haven't gotten that deep into a total hillscape just yet but we've been playing for an hour and a half there was that segment with the pig head and, and stuff like that that was definitely up there but it hasn't quite descended into the total insanity of the other games just yet oh that's a lovely sight I think I dozed off. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Marjorie. I should certainly hope so. Finished. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Probably a good idea. Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. Oh. Oh. So... It's probably not a coincidence that, that there's a dress in here that's, like, identical to Lorelai's mom's, is it? That feels like... Like it's on purpose. That this is so similar. You know what, we're going with that. Wow, Marjorie! We better hide all the men today, because in that dress, you're going to make them all fall in love. I like her. Wait, Lorelai. I'll help you with this. You know, it's really nice to be playing one of these games that actually have several really good people in them. <clears throat> Marjorie. You look absolutely beautiful. Like, Sex seems like a good guy, she seems wonderful. Admire this smashing outfit. So far, that's right. nice, at least. We've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. Dorothy, huh? Next door to Marjorie, where we've just been. Okay. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. My call? Why... Why does it matter what order we take them? Fuck it, Dorothy. I don't care. Let's well, I do Dorothy care, next. but... Okay, Let's go. Why does that choice matter? These games usually don't give you choices unless they matter, so I'm a little... What's she thinking about, I wonder? What's up, Marjorie? And that's the thing. I'm not sure she's thinking much at all. Alright, let's check on Dorothy. So dark in here. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. Yeah, we can't have that. That's That'll give her bed sores. That's one thing Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag. Especially first thing in the morning. Oh, what lovely. Wonderful. Thanks for the warning. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. Come on now. I know you're awake. <laughs> Now, that's very rude, sweetheart. What was that Eric Cartman-ass voice? Up we go. Richard! Richard! Where are you? Are you kidding? That's her voice? Darling. You know that. Of course he's here. He's in the plumbing kitchen. Okay, maybe if we do this, you'll wake up. Oh. What did you call me? Ready to have an awesome day? Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. Dorothy, we need to find you a hairbrush. Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. 
Let's just keep it nice. Let's just keep it nice and friendly, like. Job done. Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. All right. So she can just sit there and be pissed off, I guess. Whoa, hey, no. I actually kind of wanted to see if I can talk to Dorothy for a sec. I cannot. She just wants to sit there and be pissy. All right. Fine. Fine. You do that. You all right, darling? Okay, then. Oh, shit. Alma! Oh, no. What in God's name are you doing on the floor? What's all you that broken okay? shit? What broke? I'm fine, dear. Okay, who the hell is voicing these women? Go on the other side and give me a hand, Lorelai. Of course. Let's get her up immediately. Jesus. Lucky lady. Not a scratch on you. But... God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. Hey, she's right there. Oh, thanks for that, Alma. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. Let's keep it optimistic. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. Well, I like yours. Now so it's we nice. Have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it, anyway? I don't know. But I'll have a look. I can't tell what it is either, to be perfect. Oh, it's paper. It's oh. A very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. I shouldn't, but... My darling wife. I am writing this letter in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack. First oh, morning. Jesus. I have a bad feeling about this. And I think, should the worst happen, you ought to know one thing about me I've never told you before. Oh, yeah? Ah, the rest has been torn off. Of course. Hey, 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 hey. Right. And now it's time for a coffee break. What? We fixed three so ladies. Soon? You kidding? <laughs> what do you mean soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I guess so. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. Certainly. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Well, we're really going to be playing through a whole work day of being here, huh? Alright, laundry. You warm enough? I don't know if you can it's all Hmm. Did I just switch to Danish for a second? I think I did. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. I realized as I was speaking that I was like not speaking the correct language. No, she most likely didn't know. That's true. All right, let's watch this shit. That's where the dust. So put it in there. Goes. You all right? I'm good. And you? Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. So? Oh. Okay. What does that mean? He crashed his car this morning. Oh! Apparently, some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it. And he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Oh! Then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. 
You wouldn't have anything to do. God with damn, are you serious? <laughs> I meant frog. F None of these are good. All of these are deflecting. Fuck. <sighs> Surely there's more than one black dog in this city. I didn't say it was black. Ah, crap. No? No. But it was, in fact. Mr. B mentioned that for some reason. And you knew. Well, I fucked up. Interesting. So what? I saw a black dog. It barked and growled at me. I found a way around, but it made me late. End of story. We'll see. We'll see? What do you mean? Are you actually going to pin that on me? You're not the boss here and I will keep this job. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. Her legs aren't great. I think she has a bit of a backstory. I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura... I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Oh yeah? You should give respect to get respect. I mean, I agree, but let's try to keep Fine. it cool. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case, you'll make us all a cup of tea. Certainly, that I can oh. do. Maria's already on it. Go on then. I'll be down shortly. Oh, I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. Make your own fucking cup. The hell do you mean? She can make the tea and you can pour the milk in as you want. What the hell? Alright. The red mug is yours. Mmm. It smells lovely. Oh. I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Oh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know, we don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thanks! This is, um... Wait. Oddly engaging, Nisha? like... Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's alright. Ah, oh, well. I guess I'm not the only one who doesn't like coffee or tea, in particular. Oh, that's the drunk chef. Hello, buddy. Guess he's just ignoring me. Give me that milk. There we go. Skimmed milk? Wait a second. What's this? Laxative? Is that what you're looking at? No, I couldn't. Could I? Nope. We're not doing that. As much as I don't like Zoe, she doesn't deserve that. Nobody does. Use milk on the yellow mark? Well, that won't get any of us anywhere, being a bitch to her, so never mind that. Ugh. Can I take my own mug? I sure can. God, Iron Giant. There's another one I haven't seen in a while. Sunshine! Yay! <laughs> Praise the sun. What? It's from a... Praise Pilor. Oh, never mind. Smoke break too, huh? Do you want one? Nope. No thanks. I don't don't want to be too much like mom. 
Fair enough. I'd go on a killing spree without my fags, I think. There'd be blood everywhere. Really? You don't seem anything like that. Yeah, but this job can be so bloody stressful sometimes. Like, you have no idea. I mean, I can probably at I least halfway imagine, mental. but no, no, I don't have any idea. Oh, go on, have one. No, fuck you. I said no. Kill you. I said no. God damn it. No, really, I'm all right. <laughs> Your loss. I'm having two then. <laughs> wow. Then they might actually kill you. So, why do you want to work here of all places? I don't think it's about where she works. I couldn't afford to go to college because I love old people or nobody else wanted me. I mean, with the world being what it is for a lot of young people lately, the, uh, the latter is probably the correct one. Nobody else wanted me. Oh, come on. I mean, I've applied for like 20 different jobs. Mm. But only this one got back to me. I'll be honest with you. I never dreamed to be a care assistant, but I can't stay at home anymore. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Indeed. Oh, so you can, like, rent a place. I'm thinking more of a one-way ticket to New York. Just as long as I'm out of there. Yeah. As long as I'm out of there. Doesn't matter where you go. Just getting out of there. Sounds like your family is pretty fucked up. Ha! Ah, getting straight to the point, huh? Stepdad. He's just a big bag of shite. Has You're getting very personal with I've this woman been. very quickly. God, I'd rather die. But you know, it'll be okay. I mean, it's definitely it's healthy for her to find someone to talk to, but none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend, <laughs> I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. I think you might suppose wrong. Yes, let's bring up Zack. Well, there's Zack who lives next door. <laughs> he's a geek, all right, but he's kind of cool. He waited for me this morning just to give me an umbrella. And Zach, if you don't get what that means, you're fucking dense. Nah, he just likes to be called Zack for some reason. I will go out with him if he ever asks. I think he likes me more than I like him. You know what? Fuck it. Let's put on my shipping hat. You know, I will go out with him. If he ever asks, of course. He almost did today. But he chickened out at the last moment, I think. <laughs> he totally did. Bloke. Those overconfident macho types are not worth your time. Trust me. Just realized. He's pretty much the only normal person I know. Uh, I mean, nobody's really all that normal when it comes down to it. All my friends from school just moved on. Even my best mate, Carrie. Oh, yeah? She still texts me once a month, but she never comes over anymore. It's fine, though. She's got enough going on. You should try internet. It's what I do. I'm in this group, and we talk about kids, mostly. I can't go on the internet. My mom won't pay for the Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, well, there's that. Wait. Wouldn't you have a phone? Did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. I was only 17 when I had Kieran. Ah, well. And Sam, only two years later. That was very early. You married then? No. <laughs> Boy, that got deathly quiet. There's Let's something there. Friends. I agree. Unless. Unless? <laughs> Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. Let's not backtalk anybody. We do have this special connection, me and her. Maybe she's not all bad. I don't know. 
I don't think we'll ever be friends. But I definitely don't want to be anyone's enemy. Oh, she did. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Exactly. So don't worry. It's all good, mate. It's all good. We should probably get back now. Probably. To see that new lady. You do have a job to, okay. to take care of. <laughs> I'll meet you outside her room. It's upstairs. All right, then. What's her name? Oh, um... Greta, I think. Greta. Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist. And she's got some creepy-ass paintings in her room. <laughs> oh, can't wait to see them. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. Just look for the door with no name tag on it. All right, then. Oh. It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. I'm gonna be taking this. Probably need it for something. Cozy. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and not work. I'm just gonna sit here for five hours. <laughs> nah. Whoa! Whoa, what happened? She fucking moonwalked! That was not me! I just pressed walk right and she... <laughs> fucking Michael Jackson did out of there. That was weird, okay. but okay. Upstairs. Door with no name tag. That's the idea. Oh, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, there is an autosave. Oh, yeah, it's been saying saving the whole time. Fuck it, I'll save anyway. God damn. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Alright then, upstairs we go. Bathroom. Door. Uh... Wait, so is this the door with no name tag back here? Sure enough, those look like creepy ass paintings. Ooh. They're kind of cool, though. Oh, hello. Are you. Greta? Oh, that sucks. Oh dear. I must get it out. Oh, this is a bit much on my first day. Oh! Okay, I need a professional in here, please. Oh! That was maybe a bit much. Wasn't uh, wasn't quite prepared for that on my first day. Whoopsie toodles. Yeah, probably. Well, Isn't he in like every game? Rest in peace, my love. Oh. Come on, let's go, girls. Laura, you stay. Wait, I stay? Why me? Look, in a place like this, you see people die. Well, yeah, that's Sometimes a... a year goes by and they're all fine. And then you suddenly get three dead in one week. Oh. You never really get used to it, but there's something you have to accept if you want to work here. And most of all, don't blame yourself. Oh, so you're not all bad, huh? It was Greta's time to go. That's all it is. I don't know about her time to go. She fucking clawed her face off. <sighs> yeah, thanks. Okay. Let's go then. Still not an excuse for her to go out of her way to be a to bitch do. at first, but... She's definitely not all bad. You sure you'll be okay? Yeah. 
We still haven't been kissed by a ghost, whatever that means. Fine. Let's just keep busy. What's next to do? Ugh, there's like a million things. I should hope so, you're at work. Do you play chess? What? Oh. <laughs> she looks so intense, look at her. I do love how these games feel like indie movies more than anything else, really. She really is doing her best, huh? Oh, well. <laughs> oh dear. What? What was that? Why would you throw a Come on now. Be nice. What was that? Apparently. I mean, I think this is just supposed to be a goofy good time. She's trying her best to make the place livable and fun, but maybe that soap beard wasn't necessary. This music fucking rules, jeez. I need to go through the soundtracks of all three games. Did you see the lightning? It's gonna rain in a minute. Well, that's just bloody fantastic, isn't it? And another one. Oh, come on. My back is aching. I just want to go home now. Oh, just you wait till you get a little older. It'll be aching all the time. Is there anything left to do? Nah. They're all in bed now. We'll just hang around the nurse's station trying to look busy and wait for the night staff. Let's go then. Looking for more work to do so you don't have to go home, huh? Can't say I blame you. Hmm. Okay, I guess there's not more, much more to see here. Let's go inside. Main hall. There's the fire extinguisher for whenever we need that. Do you hear that? What? No. Do, do I hear what? Exactly. Nice and quiet. At last. Oh, bloody hell. Why did I say that? I can't imagine it's usually all it? that nice and quiet. Well, I mean, rather, Someone I can imagine it usually it is. Mistake. It happens. Yeah, but you should still go it's check. For me. Yeah. Just give Let it me... a whack. It'll silence it. The sound it makes is really annoying. But I can't just give it a whack, can I? No, fucking it check it. Really Are you kidding? Zoe will go mental if I break it. Which room is it? It says 11. Room 11. Let me guess. Room 11? Let me guess whose room that is. Yeah, why? Whose room is it? Greta's. Are you sure it's 11? Well, yes, absolutely. It's Greta's room. Who lives in that room? Greta. Ha <laughs> ha! Called it. The dead lady. Well, shit. Shit. Oh dear. Are these maggots? Ugh. They sure look like it, don't they? Oh, I hate maggots. Nobody likes maggots. But we still need to get in there and switch the bell off. Where's Zoe? She's doing the meds now. And when Zoe's doing the meds, 
It's generally best not to talk to her. Why is Greta's body still there anyway? Oh, they'll take it yep. late at night. Yep, I'm well aware. Right. Then... Ah, oh, this is let's gross. Let's find a way to get rid of these... things. Well, I mean, I do have a spray bottle. And some chlorine tablets. There's no water in the bottle. Alright, filling up the bottle. Oh, I can take the toilet paper? I was trying to put water in this fucking thing. Really? I can't use the sink in here? Are you kidding? Alright, I guess I need to find another bathroom. Or the kitchen. Can I please get to a sink? Are you serious? Why can't I get to a sink? I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's because the bottle is too big to fit in a sink. Wait, garden door. Maybe there's like a hose out there. Well, there's a watering can, so there should be a hose somewhere. Alright, I guess we gotta search this whole goddamn house for somewhere I can get some freaking water. Come on. Yeah, probably in laundry. Yep, there's a the sink. Alright. And then we put the tablets in the bottle. They're making a lot more use of the combined mechanic here than usually, huh? Makes my eyes sting. Yeah, but it'll definitely kill some maggots. Ladies, I suggest you stand back, because this is gonna smell. Ugh. Oh, they didn't like that, did they? No, I imagine they didn't. It's like pure chlorine. Yeah. So, we're going in? No, no, no. You know me. I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. There's no Nisha? way we're going in there. Sorry, Lorelai. Nisha, want a beggar girl up? Fine. No, you're just gonna stand there? Okay. But you owe me. You're making me do this on my first day. Are you serious? That's not gonna work. Alright, what happened to the- By the way, what happened to that fish I just happened to carry around? Okay. It's just the body. No, it isn't. No need to be <laughs> Not in these games, it ain't. Hey! Of course. What the fuck, Maria? Are you serious right now? That's just the light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? That is a very good question. What a storm. After such a beautiful sunny day. It's proper raining now. <sighs> oh? Where is that bloody... Oh! Of course she's holding it. <laughs> Wait, nobody came to pick that body up? Hasn't it been an entire goddamn day? She's gonna grab my hand. Yep! I knew it. How pleasant. Everything 
Boy, this building looks familiar. Or maybe all these buildings just look this way. Yeah, but I'd like to know why she does that. That's ominous. And there's the smooch. You know, if I had a first day like this, and I know she's desperate for money, I would seriously consider quitting. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but... The fuck you laughing at, Maria? <laughs> got you! <laughs> what? I got it all on my phone! Oh, mate! You should what? see your face! What? <laughs> you nearly shat yourself! What? <laughs> Didn't she, Nisha? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What was the prank here? This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. <laughs> you really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> wow, this is alarmingly uncool. I thought we were friends. Precious. What the fuck, Maria? I thought you were cool. You said you scare easily, and then you pull off something like this. <laughs> like I'm gonna be scared of one dead lady. I've seen a hundred of them. They don't bother me no more. But she... Oh, for God's sake. It's just a body. And it's my first day. It's not like it's gonna grab you and eat your brains or something. I mean, it tried. So it didn't move? Of course it didn't. It's just lying there like a sack of potatoes. That's not a very nice thing to say. Yeah, it really wasn't this funny. Wasn't funny, Maria. I thought we were friends. I thought so too. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like what? You locked me in a room with a dead body. That's not cool no matter how good friends we are. It was just Wow, okay, now I feel really sorry for your children. Boy. Maybe I should steal those and take them with me when I move out of here, huh? Well, I'm glad you're all right, Mr. B. But you shouldn't have worried. Except for Greta, sadly, passing away. Well, that's the... <laughs> Everything's been hunky dory. It's really weird to see the spirit of 43 well, cartoon up here while Laura. <laughs> Or is it Lorelei? Yeah. Great cartoon, by the way. But... Still a little rough around the edges. Gee, I wonder if that's because my colleagues locked me in a room with a, with a corpse. I think we could make a good carer out of her. All right, lesson learned. Don't trust first impressions. Boy, that was a bitchy thing to do. Cheers for the umbrella, Zach. Am I still running around with a fish in my jacket? Like, I'm genuinely curious what happened to that fish. And what the hell I even needed it for. Oh right, we went to sleep in a creepy-ass mannequin room. That's right. I totally forgot. Yeah.